What's up everybody? Resale Rabbit here and boy, this is a fun storage unit I cleared out. I bought this unit today for $400. Someone bid me up. He wanted to see how high I'd go, but I was gonna buy it regardless of the price. Let me show you what I first saw. I saw this, video game boxes. I've got some more of them over here. Look at this, PS4 up on top, PS3, Xbox One. This is what I saw. Now, the auctioneer alluded to the fact that they were empty. Uh, he, he listed in the listing as video game boxes. And when we asked if they were empty, he kind of looked and said, well, I can't tell you that. Um, they, it's their policy not to tell us anything about you know what was in the unit other than what you can see from outside. However, he kind of made it somewhat known that there's not going to be any video game systems in there, at least not in those boxes. Uh, but I still bid $400, and let me show you the cool stuff I found. It looks like this was all owned by a video game store or a repair shop or something like that. Let's start over here and go down the list. So, for starters, we've got, look at this. Adam West autograph picture. I don't know if it's real. I don't know how much it's worth, but that's got to be some money if it is real. This here, price tag of 35 bucks. That's about what they're going for on eBay with the receiver. Uh, PS4, I believe these are for some sort of PlayStation product. I've got a laptop, no charger, but if I can get it on and everything, we're talking about 150 bucks. There's a heat gun here. And underneath the heat gun, we've got a binder full of Pokemon cards, and I'm not sure what these are, but just pages and pages of those cards. We've got a couple of multimeters, some off-brand. We've got a nice Craftsman one. I might actually keep that. And this is attached to the Craftsman multimeter. I don't know what this is. I'll have to look it up. Brand new factory sealed game. Not worth a lot, like 15, 20 bucks. These cards, factory sealed. I don't know what they are or what they're worth. I don't know what most of this stuff is worth. What's going on? How's it going, Rusted Raccoon? Uh, what else do we have here? I've got a bag full of assorted cards, some Star Wars Episode One figures. Uh, what else? Some more cards here. Sets of uh, NASCAR cards from McDonald's. Some Magic the Gathering cards. I have to look these up. These are all in protective sleeves. Uh, what else? All kinds of stuff here. Here's just a bunch of Mixed odds and ends that I found. Marble cards and some dice and a PS3 off-brand controller. Just some odds and ends. What else? Here is a security system. There's the DVR and there's four cameras in here. Doesn't look like anything too fancy. Probably just a cheap off-brand one, but still four cameras in the DVR. That's got to be at least a hundred bucks. These are all empty, Magic the Gathering boxes. I don't know if they're worth anything. They may be worth something for collector value, maybe not. I have no idea. Uh, we've got this shirt. Does anyone know what this is for? I have no clue. It looks like it's supposed to be Luigi and Mario, but obviously it's not. But anyways, there's that. Along with some Batman stuff, a nice watch here. That has an original price tag of 35 bucks. I don't know what it's worth now. Uh, Buddy Christ. I used to have one of these when I was like 16 on my car on the dashboard. And some Funko Pops. A whole bunch of this game. It looks like it's a book with a build your own catapult. They're all brand new along with these. These red dots, you might remember these from some of my videos. These are all from Barnes & Noble Clearance. They probably had them at 75% off. They probably bought them to put them in their store. So here's some other odds and ends. Uh, gummy bear soap and decks of cards all like Barnes and Noble clearance little trinkets these are little key things they look like this they go on the end of your keys I got a whole bunch of those a whole bunch of these little books one was open all the other ones were new these are a bunch of Game Informer magazines from about 2014 I don't know if they're worth anything but you know I'm gonna look them up and then there's a looks like a Batman uh, game guide Empty boxes. Some of these boxes had stuff in them. My battery is draining quick, so I'm gonna have to make this really quick. Some of these boxes had stuff in them, but no video game systems. A couple of boxes of Nook tablets. If only people still had Nooks. Uh, one terabyte hard drive, Batman D uh, tape. 
new, brand new. A lockbox with the key. Uh, that is an empty box also. We've got a whole bunch of these old toys. Vintage collectible toys. This was not a reseller wannabe. This was actually a retail store. There were business cards and signage and stuff. A jailhouse TV. They're clear so they can use them in jail. Uh, what else? A box full of cords. Here's some more toys, trinkets, decor, a Darth Vader mask, brand new game. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Here's another box full of this stuff. All these old toys. These look pretty old. These got to be maybe 80s or 90s. Uh, we've got some phones. Some are just parts. Some are actual phones. This one is the only one that might be worth something for parts. The LG G Flex. More Batman stuff, Deadpool, Mike's Hard Lemonade, uh, stack of games. This is the only one that's really noteworthy. This one, despite the price tag, is like a $10 tag. Uh, an Atari 5200, and here's a whole bunch of repair stuff. Just various parts and pieces for repairing uh, phones, it looks like, if I can get this open. Uh, these, I think, were probably for laptops. We've got lasers and screws and all kinds of stuff like that um some shelves in fact there's some nice wire shelving that was in there as well that i still have to go get this thing is worth a few hundred dollars a rework station whatever that is there's some other parts too in the box here there was a soldering iron as well i know i'm spinning around a lot my battery is draining really fast so i gotta make this quick here's probably the coolest find an apple 2e uh, it has the disk drive, the monitor. It powered on. I don't know how to use one of these to actually test it out, but it did power on. We've got some of the software here. We've got an LED light strip. That works. So here's some more stuff. There's some retail fixtures, a mini fridge. These, they were trying to sell uh, custom game cases. A whole bunch of these Dungeons and Dragons things. Let me show you the, uh, the rest of the stack. Dungeons and Dragons, they're all brand new. Uh, we got some more games here. What else? Here are some more K boxes. These two might have some value, I have to look them up, but the other ones really don't have any value. I found money, kind of makes me feel bad, but not much I can do about it. Uh, some shelving, but here's some more exciting stuff right here. Comic books. Now, this stack really isn't worth a whole lot, but these ones have some value. These are worth about $30 each. Uh, this set, I think I can get about $30 bucks for the set. Uh, I think this is a $20 book. This one here is uh, a set of four. The last one that sold, sold for $60, but these ones are all signed by someone. These ones, too. Worth about $60 to $80 for the set, depending on condition, but they're signed, and there are no comps for the signatures. So I have no idea what I'm going to get for them. I'm probably going to bring the signed ones into a comic book shop and see if they can get me a better price. Um, lots of cool stuff in here. The shelving alone is probably going to bring me, I've got two of these cheap plastic ones, worth about 10 bucks each. The other ones are probably worth about 25 bucks each. So I've probably got about $100 just in shelving. And then all the other stuff. We've got some fixtures here. I think I kind of covered it. But, I mean, all of these toys, all of these figures here. It's some serious money, I think. I haven't looked any of these up. But there is just so much of this in there. We've got a whole box full of cords here for laptops, too. So, I have a lot of work to do looking this stuff up. This is all going to be eBay stuff. Well, mostly eBay stuff. Some of it's going to auctions. Some of it's getting sold elsewhere. That is one of the three units that I bought today. I've got a full van outside, and I've got two more units that are still pretty full that I have to clear out tomorrow. Oh, here's some more stuff. Some Marvel busts, and then a couple of puzzles that were put together and sealed up. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Life-size cardboard cutout. It is in immaculate condition other than that little scratch. I'm told it's from one of the original Star Wars movies, but I don't know Star Wars that well. So that's kind of cool, right? I got to cut this short, and I apologize for that, but my battery is draining really fast. Uh, I know Jameson's going to have something to say about that. I got a saw, too. 
skill saw. Um, I gotta clear those out tomorrow, and I have another storage auction that has one unit available that I'm going to tomorrow, but it's gonna be a big one. It's a 12 by 30. I wanna go live for these auctions, but it's just too cold. My battery just dies instantly in that cold weather. So you're gonna have to wait till summer for any more live auction videos, but that is what I got in the second storage unit of the day. Once we get the other one all in here, and if I win the one tomorrow, once we get that all in here, I will do another video showing you that. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative and saw some cool stuff. I'm excited about this locker. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. That's, I've got boxes here of, here. Boxes of empty cases. These are good to have because I buy games or I find games a lot that are disc only. So anyways, I feel very rushed because of this battery issue. That's all I've got. I will see you guys in the next video.